What's up, y'all? This is really all back with another video. Yes, and today we got to talk about the Cleveland Cavaliers, man, because it is approaching that time of the year where we are so ecstatic because we understand what this can do for our roster, and that is draft. The draft season is approaching, and I'm so prepared, just like a lot of other Cleveland fans is prepared to see what the Cleveland Cavaliers do in order to change the trajectory of our roster, right? Now, before I even get into that, we have to talk about the Tristan Thompson rumors, right? And it's been speculated that Tristan Thompson might be eyeing the Los Angeles Lakers because of him possibly wanting to reunite with LeBron James because of the ties they have with Clutch Sports. Now, a lot of people might be asking me, how do I feel about that? Honestly, I feel like Tristan Thompson would be doing us a favor because I feel like the Cleveland Cavaliers is gonna be in a position where we're gonna end up overpaying Tristan because of the, the years he had on the Cleveland Cavaliers. And, you know, and I'm so I'm so grateful that Tristan Thompson was, you know, on our team. He didn't have to demand a trade and then, you know, back, you know, he was, you know, he, he was a pretty normal player, you know, media wise, but, in terms of what his value is, in my personal opinion, I feel like what Tristan Thompson brings to our team is not worth $75 million or more. You get what I'm saying? And I feel like he's at a position, especially especially based off how the league is going, where he's going to want that type of money. And I just don't feel like he's worth it. Like, like, he, like he doesn't really do anything for us that well to where he would be worth that type of money. And Cleveland is not in a position not in a position to sign those type of contracts when we're trying to reshape a roster you get what i'm saying because he's a contract that you're not going to be able to trade is like it's going to be a very 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 hard contract to move because he's not elite shooting he's not like he, he doesn't create his own shot he's not like a wonderful post player he's, he's just a you know an average center and you know and, and a lot of teams can use a center like that but cleveland cavaliers I don't know if, it, if it's worth us paying that type of money. Now, in terms of the draft, a lot of people have been saying we should draft Patrick Williams with the fifth pick. Honestly, I don't agree with that, even though I do like Patrick Williams. I believe if we really want him, we should trade for another pick from the ranges of 10 through 15, because that's where I think he's going to fall. Now, a lot of people might be asking me, why is those speculations even happening? A lot of those speculations is happening because of how unpredictable this draft is be starting to become, right? Because first, everybody was like, these players is locked, guaranteed. But as we get closer and closer to the draft, even with Minnesota, they don't know if they want LaMelo, if they want Anthony Edwards, if they want Obi, or even James Wiseman. And that's the question because depending on who Minnesota, the Warriors, Chicago, all these teams select, the, this draft could very well shift compared to what we have projected. You get what I'm saying? Which for the Cleveland Cavaliers is a really, really great situation because now we we have cards to where hey, if a team is not completely sure, we, we have a piece like in Kevin Love or Drummond where we can trade and say, hey, we got this player if you give us this pick or, you know, vice versa. And we can make some moves happen. And also we can end up finessing a team where a player that we wouldn't or a player we shouldn't have got might actually fall to that fifth selection and very well help us change our culture. You get what I'm saying? Now, also, we have to talk about Darius Garland, right? And a lot of people have been speculated that we should trade Darius Garland. And, and, and a lot of people know how I feel on that topic, too. I feel like we shouldn't trade Darius Garland. I feel like trading him would be too premature. And I know Cleveland Cavaliers, you know, a lot of a lot of Cleveland Cavaliers fan is not high on, on Darius Garland. But... Cleveland fans, please. Cleveland is known. We are historically known for giving up on talent too premature when we do not have to. And this is a situation where we do not have to. Now, if we get another guard, uh, top 10, top 15 guard, all right, now we might have to make some moves. But right now, just let the boy grow let Darius Garland grow and let's see what he can do give him two more years now if he's not what you want him to be in two more years all right he's on a rookie deal it's e easy to trade him and, and even if, it, if you can't trade him you can easily let him go he's off the books 
Do not get in a situation where you have to give up players that you do not have to. Cleveland Cavaliers is in rebuild mode, right? We are not in a rush to get a playoff. We are not in a rush to get a championship. We're in a position where we have the time to grow our talent and find players who want to be Cleveland Cavaliers. So down in the comments below, let me know what y'all would do during this draft season. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more amazing content because we are on the 1K grind and with y'all, I know I can get there. So, with that being said, ghost. Hey, hey, motivated all about cash flow, ran it up and ran out of the skills. In the field and we turn into hoops. For the clip like mines we show, just like some soldiers we choke.